I had a meeting today uh, in which uh, all the chairmen of the different uh, regional committees were present and uh, also the deputy commissioners and officials from various aligned departments were present out there in the meeting and uh, a review was taken regarding the overall uh, flood situation in different parts of the state in different districts and uh, the rainfall has continued because of which uh, more roads have been damaged and uh, a large again a uh, large number of uh, people have been injured and a number of people have lost their lives and uh, the different uh, chairmen of the committees have already visited the different locations in their respective regions and uh, we are working uh, overtime to ensure that uh, the ex gracia to the next of kin is uh, released uh, immediately at the same time uh, relief materials are continuously being given to all the areas that have been affected uh, areas which uh, having landslides uh, efforts are being made by the pwd and the sdrf and the ndrf and the police forces to ensure that they are cleared at the earliest uh, some of the national highways which are connecting towards uh, silchar and uh, mizoram and tripura uh, are affected and normal traffic has effect, been affected there uh, but we are making our efforts to restore uh, things and bring back things to normalcy at the same time uh, relief materials are continuously being given to all the areas that have been affected uh, areas which uh, having landslides uh, efforts are being made by the pwd and the sdrf and the ndrf and the police forces to ensure that they are cleared at the earliest uh, some of the national highways which are connecting towards uh, silchar and uh, mizoram and tripura uh, are affected and normal traffic has effect, been affected there uh, but we are making our efforts to restore uh, things and bring back things to normalcy but uh, it could take some time in the meantime at least for the light motor vehicles uh, alternative routes have been identified and the process to send them from there has started already uh, i have also met the honorable finance minister today and uh, i have updated her about the flood situation and have requested her for all support uh, in this situation as we have received unprecedented rainfall and that has caused a huge amount of damage uh, in terms of lives and uh, in terms of agriculture, infrastructure, livestock uh, and many other uh, personal homes damages to many of the uh, citizens of the state. Um, we have also, I have also communicated to the Honorable Home Minister and I am waiting for an appointment to meet him today. I have also uh, communicated to the Honorable Prime Minister and I should be speaking to him soon and updating him about uh, the current situation in the state. And I have asked the different regional committee uh, chairmen to keep a vigilant uh, watch and uh, continuously monitor the situation. And uh, yes, uh, this is a difficult situation in terms of the, the amount of rain that's coming. And I would like to take this opportunity to urge uh, every citizen, uh, all the localities to be extra careful uh, to ensure that if there are any high-risk houses uh, which are in danger of being affected by any kind of landslide, then even uh, I request the communities and the localities to also take efforts to shift uh, those uh, individuals and citizens from those high-risk houses uh, to some shelter homes uh, which are being put up by the district administration and if not then even into uh, schools or community halls that are available in the village uh, as uh, we should make every effort as a society to save every life uh, that we can. Um, so our efforts will continue and uh, we will try to do our best to ensure that uh, the citizens of our state uh, face minimum uh, inconvenience in these uh, difficult times.